Okay, happy May 5th. Um, if you noticed, we have like a little picture of me in the background. Um, I usually don't do that, but I thought it'd be fun to, especially because I'm going to be working with calculators today. Okay, so we're on student handout two. Um, we're doing fractions and decimals. And this is what we're going to talk about. Um, you actually know how to do this because we've been doing this for a while. But to convert from a fraction to a decimal, you just divide the numerator by the denominator. And to, to convert a decimal to a fraction, you put the decimal over 1 and multiply the numerator by 10 until there's no longer a decimal in the numerator and then simplify. I kind of don't like this description. I would rather just look at it and go, oh, it's a hundredths place. Oh, it's a thousandths place. And then put as many um, zeros at the bottom as I can. So I'll show you how to do it my way. Um, if a fraction converts into a decimal that stops, we're going to call it a terminating. What does terminate mean? It means stop, right? So if that number stops, and you'll see what I mean, it's called a terminating decimal. Otherwise, if it keeps repeating over and over and over again, it's called a repeating decimal. And we write that a different way, too. Um, you could think of pi. Pi is, uh, it goes on forever, for infinity. It's not a repeating and it's not a terminating decimal. It just goes on forever. If it repeated the same numbers, it'd be repeating. Um, so that's what we're looking at right here. So let's start looking at some examples. Um, I'm sorry, you couldn't see that. There you go, repeating decimal. Okay, so let's take a look at some examples. Now, you all know how to do this because I always talked about this, right? I always said something like this line always means divide, right? So this just means 3 divided by 8. And um, today for sure, I'm going to let you use a calculator. I'm going to use my phone on this. Um, you could use your phone. You could use a calculator. If you know, if you have an iPhone, your, well, let me bring it in here, your iPhone. Oh, <laughs> hold on, folks. <laughs> if you turn your iPhone this way, it becomes um, one of those graphing calculators. But I'm going to just keep mine this way. Okay, and then what do I do to figure it out? I just do 3 divided by 8. Make sure you put your 3 divided by 8. And you could see that I get this. Now, this is called terminating because you will see it does not go on forever. It ends at 3.75. How do I know that? Well, I could actually do the math myself, or usually you'll see a pattern with, returning, with repeating decimals. This terminates. It stops at 3.75. So <clears throat> 0 0.375 is the answer. Okay, let's take a look at number 2. Number 2, again, is just 1 divided by 16. And I'm going to put that in, and you will see that also terminates at 0 0.0625. 0 0.0625. Okay, let's go to the next one. 5 divided by 6. Okay, so you notice something very different when you do 5 divided by 6. You notice it repeats. It's 0 0.8333333333. So how we write that is we put 0 0.8 three, and we put a line over the digit that repeats. Notice there is no line over eight because eight doesn't repeat. And you can see that eight does not repeat. I know this is flipped. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just realized it's flipped. Here, let me do it this way. All right, five divided by six. Oh, here you go. This is better. And you could see it repeats, right? Here's another example, 2 divided by 3. It repeats, but then what happened here with that 7? Don't get fooled. It goes on forever with 6, but what this calculator is doing is he's rounding it for you. So he, he doesn't have the capacity to go on for infinity, okay? Kind of helps. All right, let's do the next one. Um, actually, you could do 4, 5, 6, and 7. It's just calculator work. You're good. Okay, so let's go on to now. Here we go. 
I'm going to give you a reminder of fifth grade math. Okay, so let's woo, go back to fifth grade math. Remember what decimals are. Decimals are just fractions. And what is this over? Well, what place is this? If you remember, this is the tenths place. This is the hundredths. So decimals go like this. The first digit, let's say it's a four, is in the tenths, not the one. And that's spelled like this, tenths. Ooh, let me just do that this way. It's spelled like this, tenths place. The next digit is in the hundredths place. The next digit, you guessed it, is in the thousands. The next digit is, you guessed it, in the ten thousands. So I look at how many digits I have, and that's how many zeros I put it over. So this is 35 over 100. Why is it over 100? Because this is in the hundredths place. Let's look at this one. This is 275 over how many zeros? It's in the thousands place, because remember, this is tenths, this is hundredths, this is thousands. So this is over a thousand. Okay? Now this one's a little trickier, but not by much. It's just eight holes, and then I have 12 over what? Over a hundred. Now, that's how you change them into fractions, but can you leave them like this? Absolutely not. You have to simplify. And I know you're going to say, Miss Kid, I don't want to simplify. It stinks. Not really. We could simplify these. Let's divide everything by 35. You have a calculator. So I'm going to take 35 divided by 5. Do I really need a calculator for that? All right, I guess I do. Is 7. And 100 divided by, what did I divide in the top 5? 100 divided, okay, let's take a calculator and do that. I don't think I needed that, but okay. But that's 20. And that's the lowest 4, right? 2, 7 over 20. Now, 275 over 1,000. What can I use to um, make that smaller? Well, I'm going to divide probably by 5 again. So 275 divided by 5, that's a 55. I probably could have used 25, but that's okay. 1,000 divided by 5 is 200. I could still reduce that. And I'm going to divide that by 5 again. So the top is 11. And if I divide the bottom by 5, I get 40. So my answer is 11 over 40. I should box that. Okay. This one, of course, I could reduce to. I could reduce by dividing by 2, right? So um, if I divide both top and bottom by 2, I get 6 over 50. And I could reduce that still by dividing by 2, and I get 3 over 25. But don't forget the 8. He didn't go anywhere. All right. That's not a very good 8. <laughs> okay. So that's the answer to that. I hope you get the hang of it, right? Um, so that's convert. And then once you finish with those boxes, you could do the homework um, Two. Now, I just noticed that this one has line over it. So what does that mean? Well, really, to convert this, you're just going to have to stop it at some point. You're going to have to estimate. So what I would make this is I just do 88 over 100. But it's not 88 because we're rounding. So we're going to round and make this 89 .089. And then I'm going to make it 89 over 100. Um, you're just going to have to round. And this one is going to have to be 0 0.1. And remember, that doesn't change that. So that makes that 1 over 10. And that one's already reduced, so you're good. This one you could, I think you could reduce this a little bit more. You could try it and see. Okay, kind of makes sense that way. Great. I'm glad it does. So go ahead and do that and then do homework too. 
And that's it for today. Come to Zoom for help. Bye, guys.